A century ago, Centralia, Pennsylvania was a small but busy town, one that was filled with shops, bustling life, and a thriving coal mining industry. The coal from the local mines would fuel the local homes and fuel the local economy. It would fuel pretty much everything. And it was there that the 1,200 residents would live, play, work, and come together as a community. But that was not to last, and today could not be any more different. You see, nowadays, Centralia streets have simply been abandoned. Most of its buildings are gone, and smoke wafts up and down graffiti-strewn highways where a prosperous town once stood. What was once a small but bustling town has now become a ghost town, the cause of which is something that is still happening to this very day under the streets of the city itself. A fire. One that has been burning for over 50 years, resulting in the devastation of the community and the eviction of all of its residents. And as for how it got there, the entire thing just seems to be rather... dumb. But hey, welcome to an episode of Dumb Events in History, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, coal seam fires are really nothing new. But Centralia's is the United States' worst, and arguably one of history's most devastating. You see, before the 1962 fire, Centralia had been a mining center for over a century. There, it was home to a rich deposit of coal, and the town was incorporated after mining began in the 1850s. But what this made was a town that was really dependent upon coal for pretty much everything. By the 1890s, it was home to over 2,700 people, with the majority of those people being miners and their families. In the later years, when the Great Depression would hit, the town would be hurt, but it was not something that would ever be knocked out. It still continued to live on. What would kill it would be a tragedy, but a tragedy that we don't actually know exactly how it got started. You see, the fire that would end up ruining the town seems to have started with the Centralia landfill, which was an abandoned mine pit that had been converted into a garbage dump in 1962. Trash was a bit of a thorny issue in Centralia, which was always full of unregulated dumps, and the city council wanted to solve the problem with unwanted odors as well as rats. Which seems like a reasonable thing. For years, all the people had were these pits that stuff could simply be dumped into, and lo and behold, the problem kind of went away. For now. But in May of 1962, the city council wanted to go and clean up the dump because they were going to have some festivities for Memorial Day. As for how they would clean up a massive pit that was full of trash, the solution that they seemed to have come up with at the time was to just light the entire thing on fire. A fire which would soon grow well, well out of control. Now mind you, there are a number of theories for exactly what started the fires underneath Centralia, but the one that we are going to tell the story of with this appears to be the most common and logical from among all of them. The gist of it is that when they went to go and light this pit on fire, the pit was actually connected to other shafts that were underneath the city. So as the dump began to burn down, embers of it would go into the coal mine and find fuel there. Coal. And the rest is kind of history. Because soon there was a fire that was raging in a coal seam beneath Centralia. It would spread to mine tunnels beneath the town streets, and the local mines would have to close due to unsafe carbon monoxide levels. Now, multiple attempts were made to excavate and try to put out the fire, but all of them simply failed. The reason, ironically, is that in the aftermath of all of the mining that had defined Centralia for all of those years, there were so many abandoned mine tunnels in that area that one or any of them could have been fueling the fire. And the more things that they went and drilled down into it, the more air, the more oxygen that it actually allowed to fuel the fire even further. There really was no way to seal it. Which in turn made any attempt to actually try and stop the fire ridiculously expensive, if not impossible in the first place. Now I know there's going to be some people that are going to go, oh wait, hold on, so it was just expensive, they didn't want to deal with it? Well, therein actually lies the issue. Any solution that they came up with, no matter what it was, was going to be ridiculously expensive, something that the town, let alone the state, could easily afford. And the likelihood of that solution actually working was not very high. Several attempts were made at different things, such as collapsing tunnels, putting up sand walls, anything that they could do, and none of it actually worked. Thus, as the years went on, the ground beneath the city itself became hotter and hotter, eventually reaching over 900 degrees Fahrenheit in some locations. Smoke would pour up from sinkholes and gas-filled basements. Residents started to report health problems, and homes began to tilt. Earlier that year, a 12-year-old boy went and fell into one of the sinkholes, narrowly escaping death, which would be just one of many close calls. Really, in the end, it was too late for the town of Centralia. Rather than even try to put out the fires anymore, Congress decided instead to pay the residents to simply move away. Then in 1992, Pennsylvania went and kicked out all the residents that still remained. 
All of Centralia's buildings were condemned and its zip code was wiped off the books. Seven residents would remain via court order, but these were then forbidden from actually selling their property or passing it down to any descendants. It would end with them. Which brings us to today, over half a century later from where this all began. Centralia still burns, and is actually one of 38 known coal seam fires that are going on in the state of Pennsylvania today. According to the state's Department of Environmental Protection, if this fire is not controlled, it is more than likely going to continue to burn for a full century more. And as for anyone who would actually want to go and control said fire, well, it's more than likely at this point impossible. But that is the story of Centralia, Pennsylvania, and today's dumb event in history. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you liked what it is that you heard. Also, put comments in the comment section below to tell me what it is that we should cover next. I really appreciate all of you for watching this, and thank you so much for the support of this channel. I cannot believe that that Cleopatra video that I did before blew up as much as it did. Thank you to everyone who has supported me here, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys.